What's going on guys, it's your boy Siobhan here back with another video and today we have the unboxing of the Apple Watch Series 7. Really excited to see this one because I heard that the screen looks amazing. There's tons of couple new features but nothing too crazy but today you know what we have, you see me matching with the green because we have the green clover aluminum case and also thanks to Apple for also sending over this braided loop that we'll check out as well. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys this brand new unboxing experience and also I wanna say a huge thanks to Spigen for sponsoring this video. I'll talk about that later on in the video. But yeah, without any further ado, let's get started. Series 7, I love the Apple Watch unboxing because I just think the graphic looks really nice. But let's go ahead and get this. Almost like last year, actually. The only way you'd actually know if is you look right here, you could see it says Series 7, if it's focusing. But yeah, that's one way to know. And if it's red, that means it's cellular. But there we go. And that's why I like it. Like, just look at all the colorful Apple Watch bands and loops and all that crazy stuff. So we do get the green watch band, which we'll take a look at. But first thing first, we have to jump inside. Let's look at that. Nice. We have to jump inside. We have to jump inside this first. So let's get this pull tab right here. Boom. Get it out of here. All right. Let's go. So I just we'll just lift this up. Yo, Apple, you're trolling right now. Is Apple trolling me right now, guys? No way. There we go. All right, so as you can see this year, we're gonna show you a few things that's changed. So we don't get any power adapter anymore. We only get this charger, which is kind of different. And so this is the new charging cable we get this year. And thanks to this new USB-C charging cable, it goes from zero to 80 in 45 minutes, which is super fast. So it's the same battery life, 18 hour all day, lasting battery life since last year, but the charging speed has improved. We got a power adapter, but this year we don't. So this old 15 watt power adapter, we don't use these anymore. What we got today instead is the Spigen 20 watt power adapter. And the reason why I love this one is because of how small and compact it is. Apple does sell you 20 watt power adapters guys, but it's for $20. This is for $16 on Amazon. I'll leave links down below and it's super like portable as well. Just look how small this thing is. The plug actually folds up. So if you're traveling, this is going to be a really good game changer. So this is up to 20 watts. It charges multiple Apple devices as long as it supports up to 20 watts, of course. And yeah, this is what I would recommend because if you get your charger right here, boom, there you go. Now you could start charging up your Apple Watch Series 7 or any other Apple device that supports USB-C to Lightning or USB-C to Apple Charger dock. This also looks really smaller than last year. Really excited to try that out. But yeah, let's jump inside the box itself and look at this clover green Apple Watch Series 7. So here we have it guys, clover green. Take my time with this. Nice. So there we go. I could already tell that the screen looks a little bit wider because the screen actually comes all the way around. It's almost like an edge to edge experience. That's the back of it. Let's go ahead and turn this on. All right, it's booting up. I'm sweating. It's really hot in here with all these lights. But yeah, let's get the watch band out real quick. Yo, I swear, unboxing Apple products is just always so fun, guys. There we go, boom. Get the small one out, this other end. Okay, nice. We did it. I think I almost got the green matched out today too, guys. What do you think? We kind of matching. We kind of matching. So I'm going to pair this up with my iPhone. So actually, I'm going to use the iPhone mini tomorrow for my day in the life video. So let's pair this up with the iPhone mini real quick. As you can see, it already popped up for us. Hit continue. Uh, set up myself. And then we could start pairing. See if we could get that. There we go. Your Apple Watch is paired. As simple as that. All right guys, so once this Apple Watch is finished setting up and all that, we'll get back to the video and tell you guys about some of the amazing new watch faces and the features that the Apple Watch Series 7 has to offer. All right guys, so I just finished setting up my Apple Watch Series 7 right here. And one thing, one thing I can say so far without the entire process is how bigger the icons look. In terms of just like how much screen real estate I have when I was texting, typing, all that, it's evident. So even though this new Apple Watch is 45 millimeters, 
the old watch band still works perfectly fine with it. So this is the 44 mil and like if we put them together, it might be hard to tell. Let me see if I could just open this real quick. Just look and tell me if you guys could see a difference. Huge difference in my opinion in terms of like just the screen size. As you guys can see, 45 on the left, 44 on the right. So this is the password screen guys. The calculator app on the Series 7 also has a larger screen real estate. And the messaging app on the left, the Series 7, you can see way more on the screen than the Series 6 over here. And also what's new is that we have this new swipe to type keyboard, which I think looks amazing. My name is John. And of course also, you could swipe to, whoops, type. It's not as easy, but once you get used to it, it will be a treat. Okay, so a couple new features with the Series 7 is that we also got four new watch faces. I'm not sure if it's limited to the Series 7, but I know it's in probably in watchOS 8, but let me show you guys these new watch faces. So the first one right here is this contour watch face. And as you can see, it's like the numbers go all the way around to the edge of the display. It also has some cool little animations which I thought was nice. So if you touch the numbers right here, you can see it kind of jiggles or if you use the digital crown to go around it, you can see that little animation right there. And of course you could edit the watch face, change the color if you want to, change the dial, all that stuff. We also have this portrait watch face that uses your portrait images and make cool stuff like this. You can see my face like zooming in. So it has to be a portrait photo and it has different styles that it would go off of. We also had this another watch face called Dual Complications. So let's try to find it right here, Modular Duo. So if we go ahead and add that, you could see that we could add complications. So a large complication here, it could be something from your calendar, your compass, your heart rate. And also down here, we could just use like the, the weather information and boom. Now we have large dual complications that could have been done in the previous watch OS 7. So it's nice to see it here. Another new watch face we have is the world time. And basically you could literally see everywhere in the world with this one watch face, which is crazy. You could add complications as well. You could change it from analog to digital, but analog of course just looks way cooler. So if you're wondering, Chevron, what's really a big upgrade if I already have the Series 6, should I get the Series 7 right here? And honestly, I think it could actually wait a couple more years because as I said before, this upgrade is for probably like people who are coming from an Apple Watch SE, an Apple Watch Series 3, Apple Watch Series 4, they'll actually enjoy it. You still have all the nice features like the ECG, heart rate monitoring, sleep tracking. Now the Series 7 is Apple's most durable watch ever made because it comes with IP6X dust resistance. So Apple said this is the first Apple watch with IP6S dust resistant. So if you work in construction, if you like dirt biking, if you're anywhere in the dust you are, you'll be good on the Apple Watch Series 7. Also, if you like swimming, the Apple Watch Series 7 is of course swim proof with a rating of WR50 water resistance, so splashes. I'm not saying you're supposed to go scuba diving in salt water with this thing, but you know, if you're swimming, it also has swim tracking features. So just swimming, you could shower with it. I personally, sh I'm not telling you to do it, but I personally, always show with my Apple Watch because, hey, if you get notifications, you can reply when you're in the shower. If you're wondering if there was an incremental battery upgrade, it's the same battery since last year. I'm not sure if I mentioned this. So yeah, I'll leave links for the Spigen wall charger down below in the description. As I said before, thanks again, Spigen, for sponsoring today's video. But yes, guys, I will be doing a day in the life with the Apple Watch Series 7. And also tomorrow, I'll be recording my day in the life with the iPhone 13 mini again, a real day in the life again. But yeah, that was a quick unboxing. I think I didn't show you guys the braided loop actually. Let's show you that real quick. So it kind of stretches a lot, as you can see. I don't think it matches well with this green though. But yeah, that's the, I would call it, is this the braided loop? The braided solo loop? What do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comments, but yeah. That's it for today's video. We did the unboxing, showed you all that good stuff. Apple Watch Series 7 is here. Is it worth the hype? Let me know down below in the comments. As always guys, love, peace, and tweaks. Signing out.